Hello, good evening. Welcome to Ham Radio 2.0, live from the Ham Shack. My name is Jason. My call sign is Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel Whiskey Bravo. Today we're going to be looking at a new version of the Baofeng UV82, which is which they're calling the HP model, high power. It's an 8-watt version of the traditional UV82 radio that uh, we're all used to. If you've uh, been following Baofeng for any amount of time, they came out with an 8-watt version that was being sold by Baofeng Tech USA for a while. That was a, I think it was a BF, like Bravo Foxtrot, uh, something HP, BF8, I think, HP. It basically looked like a UV5R, and I think it had a little bit bigger battery, and it, w it would produce 8 watts. But uh, those radios were, I, I got some calls about those radios early on. They, I, I never got... I never got my hands on one, never got to play with one, I never got to test it, I, so I don't really know anything about it. I know a couple people who have them who said they work great. Um, I wasn't able to sell them because Baofeng had a contract with Baofeng Tech USA, who is the same company as Anytone Tech USA, so they contract with these companies to make a specific model for them. Anyway, in typical Baofeng fashion, they put their 8-watt schematic or internal guts or whatever it was into another model and they're able to sell those to other vendors now so the uv82 which as most of you know is the upgraded version of the uv5r it's got a better receiver it's got a better it's uh, it's got better transmit audio it has um it has a push to talk toggle switch where you can toggle it up and down and push to talk whatever band is showing on the top or the bottom of the screen without having to switch back and forth between the bands with the AB selector button on the front face of the radio. And it's got a better antenna. Uh, most people will tell you that if you ever go buy a UV5R, you get on Amazon, and for 28 or 30 bucks or 32 bucks, the price fluctuates from time to time, so it depends on what you, what you pay for it. You go buy a UV85R, you open the box up, you take the antenna, you throw it in the trash, and you go get yourself a real antenna, and you've got a pretty good radio, you know, for 30, 35 bucks. Um, UV82, you don't have to do that. The UV82 comes with a, a high efficiency antenna that's got a pretty good gain on it for an HT. And it's a bit taller than the UV5R, but the radio and the antenna are both taller than the UV5R radio and antenna. And the performance is night and day better. So for an extra 20 bucks, basically, you get a much, much better radio. And uh, now they have an 8-watt version. So we're going to take a look at that radio and do some uh, some power output tests on it and just see exactly what it will do. As far as I can tell, everything else about the radio, the menus, the manual, the box, everything else is exactly the same as the 5-watt model. In fact, they have a model that's uh, 2 meters and 220 that I sell on my website, grapevineamateurradio.com. I've got three different models of the UV82. One's just called a UV82, which is the traditional 2 meter 440. The UV82X which is the 2 meters and 220, and now the UV82HP, which is a 2 meter 440 and 8 watts per band. So let's take a look at the video and see, uh, see how well the radio stands up. Okay, this is the Baofeng UV82 and the 8 watt model. If you have a UV82 now, you're going to recognize the box. It's pretty much the same. This box was packed in the package I got from Baofeng, it was the one in the corner. <laughs> Took the damaged one, I'll use it for my demo. The box is damaged, the radio's not. It's perfectly fine on the inside. But you still got your user manual. Everything inside the box is the same. It still comes with the earpiece connector. Pushed with the two push to talk buttons. Pretty much every Baofeng UV82 radio that I've sold, all the ones I've ordered from them, they come with this extra earpiece. Um, you can buy those from them separately, but they, the UV82, for some reason, that model comes with it. This is your belt clip, your antenna. Uh, there's nothing else underneath it. The radio pretty much looks like what you're used to seeing on the radio. Looks just like a UV82. With the exception that, let me focus this, it says 8 watts right there, power. Model is UV82, power is 8 watts, voltage is 7.4 volts. 
And the frequency is 136 to 174, and then 400 to 520. Pretty sure the original UV82s only went to 470 or 480, but this one advertises it will go to 520. We will test that here shortly. So we're going to plug this up and do a demonstration of the uh, power output on this 8 watt model of the Beofeng UV82. We've got the meter set for 5 watts and there are three power settings in this radio. Menu number two is TXP which is transmit power. power. And you can go low, medium, high. So we're going to test all three. Also, go back out to VFO mode. You'll see that it's set to 510 megahertz. Right there. And it will transmit on 510. There you go. I'm keyed up right now with the push to talk the bottom band. That's why the display turned amber. Now I'm keyed up on the top band with the push to talk. This push to talk is a toggle. If you're not familiar with the UV82, this is a toggle push to talk. So if you push on the down part of the button, it keys the bottom band. If you push the top part of the button here, it keys the top band. So it doesn't matter which band you have set where. It's dual watch and dual receive. So you can toggle the push to talk and, and transmit on any band you want to. You don't have to push the... Uh, it's You've got the... Uh, key right here says exit slash AB and it will switch you back and forth between the top and the bottom band. Uh, exit exits you out of the menu. If you're in the menu you can hit exit but if you're just in the VFO mode it switches back and forth between top and bottom band but you don't really need that because you can with the toggle push to talk you can transmit on either band at any time you want to just by pushing either up or down on the PTT button. Uh, that was something that was available in the original UV82 and they've maintained apparently. So we're on well, we're back on high power now. We're gonna go to low power. Exit. Yeah okay so we're on low power. We're gonna put we're gonna transmit and we're gonna do uh, 155. I'm gonna go to 146 500 here. I'm, I'm uh, transmitting into a dummy load, so I'm not going to key anything. I'm going to put key up here. On the 5 watt scale, it's keying about 2 watts right there. It's the bottom, the bottom meter on the scale here. So on low power, we're transmitting 2 watts. Mid power. TXP mid. Power. And we're going to key up on 146. And it's about four and a half watts. I'm just keying simplex. I'm not doing an offset right now. So we'll go back in here. Power. Go to high power. And this should, should peg the meter. Doesn't look like it's pegging the meter. Looks like it's just at five, 5 watts. No, it's not. Okay, it's about 6 watts, according to this meter. It's about 6 watts. Keying into 146.500. You might get a tad bit of loss for this connector I'm using right here. It's a SMA to PL259, SO239 actually, SMA to SO239 connector. So you're getting 6 watts. That's not bad. That's not bad. Let's try 440. And switch this to the bottom band. We're just going to try 446. Go back in here. Low. So I'm going to key the bottom band now. I want you I want to zoom in to the to the meter so you can't see but this is where we're at here. You can see on the this on the face here I'm on 446.0 on the bottom band. 
So if I key up, turn this back to low, uh, we're right at three watts, just under three watts on low power. And switch it to mid power. Key up on 446.0. Pretty much pegs the meter, five watts. We'll change it to the 20 watt scale and see if it's any different. Yeah, it is. You're getting about seven watts on mid power on 440. So we're going to try high power now. I'm interested to see what this is going to do. This is the first time I've opened this radio. I've, I haven't tinkered with it at all before this video. High power. Boom. Okay, about 8 watts. So 7 watts on mid and 8 watts on high. I'm uh, just curious here. I'm going to go... I'm going to change the top band to 144. And transmit on high. You're getting right about 7 watts. Just barely under 7 watts. Maybe 6.5 watts. And then I'm going to go... 147.500 to the top of the 2 meter band. About the same. About 6.5 watts. So... Throughout the two meter band, um, One, five, six, six, zero, zero. throughout the two meter ham amateur radio band, you're about six, six and a half watts on high. And throughout the 440 amateur radio band, you're about seven to eight watts on high. Change it up here to 156 for some of the uh, public service frequencies. Key up on high, still about six and a half watts. MERS channels are around in there too. Go to 160. About 6 watts on 160. So it's pretty consistent at least. We'll change and we'll go to... One of the GMRS. It's actually not. 46226. 462-2625 GMRS frequency. Again, we're into a dummy load. We're not actually transmitting over the air. Key up. About 5.5 watts on high. Uh, some people have asked... Some people, for some of the radios I sell on my website, sometimes they'll email me and they'll say, does this transmit on the 475, 476 range? I guess there's some business band up there somewhere commercial band of some sort. We're just going to go up to 480. I'm going to key the radio on high power. About 5.5 watts. Right over 5 watts. So we'll just do 500 megahertz for the grins. 500 megahertz. Keyed on high power. Okay, it does drop down there. About 4 watts there. Not that you should be keying up that high anyway. Especially not with this radio. But that is it. That is the Baofeng UV82 high power HT radio. And I think it's doing a pretty darn good job for what it is. For a little $60 radio. It uh, seems to do pretty well. I just started carrying these. They should be listed on my website by the time you see this video. I just got these in a couple days ago. So I'm going to take some pictures and load them up on the website. Put them up there. GrapevineAmateurRadio.com uh, Search the left-hand menu. Under Amateur Radios, Handhelds, Baofeng, you'll see them in there. Pretty impressed with this. I think I will take it out in the field and use it and see what people say about it. Alright, so as you can see, that was the Baofeng UV82 HP H HP HT radio, little handheld, very good performance, very good for performance for a uh, for a little eight watt HT. I'm uh, pretty impressed with it. I did a couple of QSOs with it uh, later on, a little bit after the video that we just watched, and uh, got some good audio reports on it. So, you know, 
The difference between 5 watts and 8, eight watts is not much, but it might be just a little bit that you need to get out of that space that you're in if you're close enough to the repeater to hit it with an HT or if you're using it out in the field on simplex uh, take it to the deer lease like is probably what I'm going to do with mine and, and talk on it there so good little radio for only about 52 bucks uh, you can't really go wrong so thank you for watching the video subscribe to me on YouTube if you found me on YouTube go hit up my website grapevineamateurradio.com click on the ham radio 2.0 tab at the top and you'll be able to see all the videos I've done up to date You'll be able to follow any new videos I put up there as well. And at the top of that page, you'll see a subscribe link for PayPal. And uh, I don't require a subscription, but I ask for donations from the general public, from, from hams. If you got any use out of this video or any of my other videos, uh, just a simple $10 donation. You can click the drop-down menu and donate more than that if you choose, but $10 is really all I ask for. Thank you for any donation you might make. Thank you for watching the video. Feel free to share it with your club or with uh, anyone else you want to. 73, everyone, and have a good afternoon. <laughs>